How is it possible to have inner peace? The type of peace whereby you're not worried about what is happening around you. The type of peace whereby you're not even worried about what is happening to you. If you've ever researched about persecution in the early church, you'll hear stories about people who were so strong in faith that they were willing to give their lives rather than turn their backs on Jesus Christ. And the amazing thing is that in their final moments on this earth, some of these people were filled with such peace, such joy. They would be heard singing praises to God or even reciting the Bible. Now, some of these Christians would be torn from their families, torn from their loved ones and put in prisons, surviving in harsh conditions, but yet they would still continue to minister, to pray, to seek God, and to be at peace. And I often think, how? How does one get to such a stage where you are uncomfortable and in severe pain, but you are still living with the joy of the Lord as your strength? Well, Here's an interesting passage of scripture that I'd like to share. It comes from Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 8. The word of the Lord says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Allow me to share my interpretation of this verse. We're being told to trust God with your whole heart, even when you don't understand what's going on, even when you don't have a clue what God is doing. We're being told that when you seek God's will in all you do, He will show you which path to take. And so, dear listener, I want to ask you, Where have you placed your trust? Are you relying on someone or something for your future to be secure? Where have you placed your trust today? Whatever the answer is for you personally, I want to tell you to trust in the Lord and do it with all your heart. Life may be painful right now. Your circumstances, they may be painful. But dear friends, Trust God. The healing may not be instant. The miracle may not be sudden. But when you know that God is with you, you will have an inner peace in the midst of chaos. And I want to highlight something. Proverbs 3 verse 8 literally says that trusting in God will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Trusting in the Lord will be the source of your courage and the reason for your boldness. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Refuse to allow yourself to think that you know better or that you can do better on your own. Psalm 37 verses 1 through 5 says, Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. So, dear friends, As we get ready to approach God in prayer, let us go to Him, asking for greater trust in Him. Let us go with a resolve that no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like, no reports that we have read will trump our trust in Christ. We will position our hearts to trust what we read in the Word of God more than what we read in a report more than what we read in actions or even what our body is telling us. We will choose to trust in God 
and rely on his word. Now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm praying for the one who's listening and believing in agreement with me today. Father, open their hearts to your will and to your ways. Open their hearts so that they might lean back and fall into your loving hands. Lord, in this world, I pray that if we are to fall, may we learn to fall onto our knees in prayer, seeking and believing you. For the person who's listening, I pray that you will trust God first. Before you place your trust in people, places, things, science, or even remedy, may your heart be inclined. May it be willing to trust God first and trust that he will fulfill every one of his promises. I pray and I encourage you to take all of your problems, all of your worries, take them to Jesus. I pray that you won't struggle with whatever burdens you have, but instead, you should take them to the Master. May you be obedient to God's Word, which says in Matthew 11, verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Dear listener, I pray that you'll go to the Lord Jesus and trust Him to carry all of your burdens and to give you peace. May he give you rest. I pray that you will have a willing heart, one that trusts God fully at his word, and that you may never try to bear those burdens alone. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us to realize that our human tendency of thinking we can fix everything in an earthly manner, that tendency is wrong. That way of thinking will let us down. We can somehow think we have the solution to life's unpredictable events, to tribulations or problems, but we really don't. God, it's you who's really in control, and therefore you have all the solutions. God, it's you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you remind us that God's word is here. You are here, so we don't have to struggle alone. After all, We are not our own. We have a master, the one who has made us in his image, the one who wants to solve our problems. He wants to solve our difficulties. We have Jesus Christ, the living son of God, and you care for us. You've asked us to cast our burdens on you so that you can sustain us. Daily, you will renew our strength even in the face of adversity. We don't have to bear our burdens alone because in Jesus Christ, there are still waters. There are green pastures. In Jesus, there is hope and there is peace. I pray and cast down the spirit, the idol of self-reliance. I pray that that mindset will never entrap us. For each person under my voice, I pray that their minds and hearts will break free from self-reliance and may they claim their rest in Jesus Christ. He's a God who loves us with an everlasting love, a love that reaches out to us daily. Matthew 6 verse 25 says, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or even clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? So, I pray for every person listening today. May you cast your cares on him and do it today. Take your problems to Jesus so that he can set you free, so that he can free you from your yoke of bondage. May your name be blessed forever, King Jesus. May you be magnified forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh 
and strength to your bones. Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 